Greetings, my family in Christ. I hope you're doing well today. Isn't this hydrangea beautiful? It's one my mom gave me. And as you can see, it's not amongst the prettiest of places. Sometimes the beauty is among the ugly. And that's what we are called to do, is be God's light. And we have to keep in mind, we are shining God's light through us. It's not us shining. So we always have to be attuned to Him and seek His will for our words, His perfection in what He wants to say. And the white butterfly bush is blooming, and I love white. It reminds me of God's purity and how we need to seek to be as pure as we can be. And there's a little critter. Hi, buddy. Didn't mean to disturb you. Today's verses are so beautiful. I hate to even say anything to dampen, dampen them, but um, I want to just go through a few things as we travel along here. What is everlasting? That's an easy answer. Our salvation, our faith, His love, His grace, His glory, His peace, all of those things. Here's another question, and it's an easy answer. What is precious, perfect, and priceless, and cannot be bought? Our salvation, of course. Now, what is gruesome, grotesque, and ghastly, and costs everything? It's the deceiver's ploy, of course. And you could put in there the deceiver's antics, the liar's ploy, the thief's ploy, the un-whatever ploy. They all come from the deceiver. Don't be deceived. <laughs> They're all from the deceiver. So, and what is the option, I mean, excuse me, what is the opposite of peace? Friction. Of course, there's other words too, but friction. So when we have friction in our lives, or a burr under the saddle, sand in our shoe, or whatever that irritates us, then we're not going to be shining God's light. We're going to be irritated and be less than what He wants us to be. So, let's remember these kinds of things. And our, I'm going to skip to the verses to make sure we have time. Psalm 24, 1 through 6. The earth is the Lord's and everything in it. The world and all its people belong to Him. For He laid out the earth's foundation on the seas and built it on the ocean depths. Who may climb the mountain of the Lord? Who may stand in His holy place? Only those whose hands and hearts are pure, who do not worship idols and never tell lies. They will receive the Lord's blessings and have a right relationship with God their Savior. Such people may seek you and worship in your presence, O God of Jacob. Perfect words. Now John 6, 35 and 40. Jesus replied, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never be hungry again. Whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. Verse 40. For it is my Father's will that all who see his Son and believe in him should have eternal life. I will raise them up in the last day. Lord, we thank you for these precious and holy words. And we ask that you will reduce the friction in our, in our lives, but also in our mind. That's where it generally starts. The deceiver plants that seed, grain of sand, and off we go, forgetting all about what God wants us to do and be. We do not have second chances sometimes. The damage is done, like putting toothpaste back in the tube. So we have to shine His light forever. And remember the opposites of things. What's the opposite of hope? Despair. Love, hate. Joy, doom. Grace, agitation. So shine His light forever.
you all receive your blessings, enjoy them, and thank God for them. Amen.